Okay, officially, welcome to the Millionaire Real Estate Club of Las Vegas. I'm Glenn Plantone, your host and founder. I've got a cold, so I apologize for my voice tonight. It's not up to par, but that's all right. Um, well, Happy New Year. This is our first event of the year, so we're glad that you guys came out. Uh, our last event was right before the holidays, which was actually we had a good turnout. I was really surprised we had about 50 people right before the holidays, which is very good because a lot of people like to take off December and go to parties and this and that. And we only serve little sandwiches and cheese, so there wasn't any drinks to have. Um, but anyways, there we are. Uh, that's where to find us. We do have an office up in northwest Las Vegas, uh, 6955 North Durango. Uh, Sabrina, that you guys met outside, is our director, so get with Sabrina if you want to talk about sponsoring by chance or uh, doing any of the filming. We do filming beforehand or after if people want to do little clippets. Uh, this whole event, as you can see, is filmed. We take it, we put it on YouTube. Uh, a lot of folks that have taped or been taped have done very well. Stephanie is one of the people that's going to come up later and talk about she's get, getting hits from all over the U.S. based on the fact that she's on YouTube. So that's really been good for her. Uh, Ron Clark and Trish uh, LeBay work with us also. I don't know if they're here yet, but when they're here, we'll point them out. Okay, so 6 to 7 is networking. Uh, 7 to 9 is the meeting. Uh, sometimes we run a little bit over. It just depends on how many speakers we have. We try to always have education. We want people to understand what's going on and to have something new on a monthly basis. Uh, the other thing we try to do, of course, is always have a deal or two. We're, here, we're real estate investors. We want to know what's going on. Um, trends in the real estate market. That's one of the things I think we're real good at is we don't just talk about the local market that a lot of clubs do. We talk about the national market and the international market. And I think it's critical that you understand how they all correlate with one another. How many people know what's happening to the dollar nowadays? Uh, it's going down, 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 right? So with that being said, we have to, you know, be open to what's going on. As, as salespeople, and I do a lot of sales also, as an investor, I also buy, but I also sell. Uh, a lot of times now I'm starting to look foreign. I'm looking over into England. I'm looking to Canada because their money is worth a lot more than it used to be. So those people find everything we're doing on sale. So it's important that you understand the trends as, as to what's going on. Uh, we always have prizes and giveaways at the end of the night. All right. I, I put this in here uh, just this morning, and I says, you know, I, I really need to put this in here because I've done a lot of different things. I've sold personally about 500 homes in the last five years. And that was just me before I, I grew and, and had partners. Now, the reason I was able to do that is because I was in the right market at the right time. And I took my investors and I focused on investors only. And I took those people into Vegas and we bought in 2003. We bought in Phoenix in 04 and Albuquerque in 05. We bought in the Carolinas in 06. So we bought in the right markets at the right time before prices rocketed, skyrocketed. And so all of the investors that bought with me are in good shape because they've got equity, they've got positive cash flow, they bought at the right time for the right reasons. So that being said, um, one of the things I'm trying to do this year is diversify a little bit into have a variety of different products available for my investor database. Now with the internet, with marketing and whatnot, I've looked at, I've invested in a lot of these areas myself and I've looked at most of these areas, but these are areas that I'm looking at this year. Uh, land play, Asheville, North Carolina, where's Jerry? Uh, Jerry's been to Asheville. He's invested in Asheville. Very good area. So a lot going on in Asheville. Uh, Log Cabin Luxury Resorts in Gatlinburg. We had a presentation a few months back on that. We're flying back to Gatlinburg again next weekend to look at a project in Gatlinburg. Hotel condos. We sold a lot of hotel condos last year in the Florida Orlando market, which was a strong play. Uh, international. Uh, I've done a lot of uh, international sales in Costa Rica. We're now looking at Nicaragua. We think Nicaragua's got a much better play because it's a much lower price point. It's got a lot of potential for upside, whereas Costa Rica is already up there in price. So you really have to be cognizant of what's going on in the market. Tuan's in the back. You sold some in Costa Rica too, correct? A couple years ago. So, um, and I know you're interested in hearing more about Nicaragua too. Uh, the Go Zone. Uh, I just closed on a house in the Go Zone the last day of the year, and I had to make it happen. And the reason I had to make it happen as a real estate professional I get like a $62,000 tax write-off. So if I didn't come up and close on that property, guess what? $22,000 in taxes I got to pay to Uncle Sam. So I just saved myself twenty two grand in taxes by closing on a brand new single family home in that area. I put down 25%. I had to do that because you know, it was an investor loan, but I got a renter already. Positive cash flow about 300 bucks a month. So I'm happy with that because I'd rather give the money to a house than give it to Uncle Sam because I maintain the house, it'll go up with value, positive cash flow, depreciation, tax write-off. Jeff. You know, I, I've got a property manager. The builder actually is going to manage it for me for the first year. 
But that's a concern a lot of people have. And I think in the old days, they had that concern that you could only buy within 50 miles of your house because uh, otherwise you'd be in trouble. Well, nowadays with the internet and pictures and with people and what's going on, you can actually have houses all over the world and you just have to have the right people in the right places to take care of those. I mean, I own 25 houses right now and they're all over the place. Although 10 or 11 of them are here in Las Vegas, they're easy to manage. They're all like within a mile of my house, so that's easy. But the ones out of state, I've either got property managers or I've got the right people in place to, to watch those. Um, Commercial, well, we uh, talked about the dental last month, 36% return, phenomenal investment. So if anybody's interested in that commercial dental aspect, come see me and I'll talk to you more about that. But that's a great return. I invested in that last year, and that's a dental clinic that they've got set up. You put in 50000 100000 whatever you want to put into it, and they run the business for you, and you get 36% return on your money. I mean, you can't complain about that. Um, multifamily, I'm flying out to uh, early next month, I'm flying out to... Um, Fort Riley, Kansas, to look at a military, I'm, I'm not going to call it a military, it's a, it's a military town, and I think Kansas State University's in the same town, it's in uh, Manhattan, Kansas, but there's such a demand right now for um, uh, apartments and, and, and homes that people need to rent, because the military is more than what's existing, that they're building these things as fast as they can, and they've got positive cash flow tenants that want to move in and rent these out. So next month, we're actually going to have uh, Kelly's going to come out and talk about that project. So that's going to be a good project. And they've got single-family homes, duplexes, and, and multifamily. And that's what people want. A lot of investors you know, don't want to just look at single-family homes. They want to look at different things. Um, and the other one, vacationed uh, homes, Orlando, Tennessee, those are a couple areas we're looking at. But those are some of the areas that I'm focusing on. I've traveled all over the place, as you know, and, and those are areas that we're looking at. Um, my travels, uh, December, uh, went back to Orlando again. We were back in, um, let's see, North Carolina, Asheville, Gatlinburg. And then uh, the month before, I told you I was already back in Nicaragua. That was actually my first trip back. Uh, and there's some uh, condo, uh, excuse me, model leasebacks that I'll discuss with you here in a couple minutes.